For the first time, I started with 100 seeds. Then, after planting and taking care of them, I learned from the Sijenta and Technosaf. They are the ones who taught us on how to grow kirere. When they brought this information of tomatoes, the community as a whole was very happy. So the farmers took the information so positively, such that they immediately took and put it into practice, and they were very happy. And some more farmers are still registering with us to continue growing their tomatoes. So they have taught us about agronomy, that is growing of that clearly, how to take care of it, nutrition on feeding it, how we give manure, the first application of fertilizer, how to dredge the sweat, to dredge the seedlings, and a front from them, how to take care of tomatoes. What I found it so peculiar is that it is so resistant to diseases. It is so wonderful, even the buyers, they love it because it stays for longer. With Sigenta and Technosaf, they have linked us with finances that is equity bag. So I'm now prepared to get a loan from the sales I've sold from the tomatoes. The other thing they have helped us to do is marketing. And we have come up with the farmers. We have come together, we sell as a group. We have built our selection shed. And the Sigenta have linked us with the buyers. So we have the power to bargain because we got the production. We used to get seed from fellow colleagues. You go, you cross the fence, get seeds from your friend, get seed from another farmer, which actually was not a clean seed. He has been planting it for several years. We just assumed it was clean because we knew nothing about clean seed. The main thing that I learned from the training is how to use the clean seed. After planting the seed, we have to follow the steps like furrowing, the measurements from seed to seed, how we are supposed to put our fertilizer until you finish the eight spraying programs when now the crop is ready for harvesting. We have a group in our village and everybody works. They told us we are going to take ourselves the produce up to the cooling plant so that the cooling plant will take the responsibility of taking care of those produce there. When we continue this way, I think we'll be far because market will not be a challenge. We will be producing more as per our efforts and the yield will continue going up. Now you find every farmer now like within, within a our environment. Everyone owns a phone. So what you do, you just take your phone, you text on what you want to do with your crop, and then you are tied in your phone. This is the kind of the phone I normally use. Farming potatoes, one acre piece of land. With the SMS, I found it, it was very helpful. So when I sold, I got a very high profit. And with that, I've made through with my life because I've paid school fees for my children to a university. In fact, what I feel as a tomato farmer, I feel that we continue with Sigenta and Technosaf. We are now in a partnership in farming and we are still to continue and we, we be friends. <laughs> and continue being together. I'm Kenyo Bijiwe and um, I head corporate affairs uh, for Syngenta here in Africa Middle East. One of the things we really believe uh, as one of the leading global companies in the world today is that um, with the growing populations that we have, that there is really need for all of us to get together, uh, companies, governments, development organizations, NGOs, to bring solutions to farmers. And uh, we are committed to leading in that space. We have teams who have been working on innovative solutions, uh, looking at new ways of how to reach farmers. We really believe we have some solutions with regards to helping farmers grow efficiently crops. We have great seeds, we have great crop protection chemicals, um, but we recognize it takes more than that uh, to make the transformative change that we need to see in African agriculture. When farmers are given technology, training, it's not too far from them, it's accessible. When they have a market that they can sell to that makes it attractive for them to invest, farmers invest and you're able to see a transformation not even of 5 or 10 percent, you're able to see farmers double, triple their yields. We have been piloting and testing various uh, interventions 
We think we have some very good robust data that we would like to sit and discuss with, uh, with other organizations and see how we can scale up. I think that takes us uh, all sitting around the table, uh, takes us all being creative, takes us all uh, creating those kind of collaborations uh, to make this work. And I believe that uh, together we can.